This cloudy drink you see here is called Soylent. Okay, here we go. And unlike its namesake from the 1973 sci-fi film, this version is not made from the chopped up parts of people. You gotta tell them, Silent Green is people! But it doesn't really resemble food either. It doesn't really look like food when you make it. It's, it's mostly uh, white powders, except for uh, fats, which are um, oil at room temperature generally. That's Rob Reinhardt, a computer engineer and the creator of Soylent. Reinhardt created Soylent as a food substitute, a way to get nutrients without having to shop or cook for conventional food. I, I wasn't exactly a foodie, and uh, I thought this was fantastic. This is exactly what I was waiting for. It's every essential nutrient in a, uh, an optimal form, a form that is very bioavailable and cost-effective, uh, verified to be safe and um, uh, water-soluble. Reinhardt says he's been mixing and drinking batches of Soylent for the better part of the past four months. So far, he feels pretty good. By every measurable indicator, I'm, I'm a pretty healthy person. After testing and refining the formula for Soylent, Reinhardt launched a crowdfunding campaign that has been wildly successful. In one month, Reinhardt has raised more than $700,000 on his own website to build a facility to mass produce Soylent. But Soylent is not without its detractors. Nutritionists don't seem to be uh, completely sold on the idea that uh, a single source diet is really optimal. I don't know why anybody would want to just have this when they can eat fresh fruits, vegetables, legumes, beans, and they can chew their food. I see absolutely no point to it whatsoever. Okay, so what does Soylent taste like? Reinhardt says he enjoys it, but I decided to find out firsthand. Um, oh, trying to go in with an open mind. Without a blender handy, I had a difficult time mixing the lumps out of it. The first tasting didn't go so well. It's like the ghost of a flavor. A little, maybe a little bit of dash of acid, maybe if you put in some lemon juice, a little bit of vinegar, that would be helpful. That actually helped. Almost done, thank God. I cleaned my plate. It may not taste great to me, but Reinhardt already has plans to take his food global. He says Soylent could be key in helping to combat global food shortages. Less trash, less waste, less, uh, you know, agricultural chemicals um, that have the potential for environmental harm. I think this could be, a, you know, a, a huge improvement on so many different aspects of life. Kat Kinsman, CNN Money, New York.